and a world champion, and while he's got a chance to win a second world title. But like Davis, it's a missed opportunity. And just a great job by our bullfighters, Frank, Jesse, Cody, to finally get Kaiki clear. That was just multiple oh. moments of danger after he touched. Yeah, and starts off bad. He's stuck into his hand, but his spur catches in his rope. And he uh, you can see he's got no hands, but he can't get free of this bull. This is this is extremely dangerous. The bullfighters are trying to get a hold of something. Uh, that, it, it's so good to see Kaiki come out of this unscathed. Can step ahead a little bit. Zeke was hoping for some payback, but slinging tears is going to have him crying all the way back to the locker room. This bull now 2-0 and against Zeke. Yeah, and Zeke making a lot of big moves right here. The bull kind of sticks him into his hand right when they left. Now he's a little too far inside and reaches across the front, which is going to drive him further in. But great job by the bullfighters here, just putting themselves between the bull and Zeke. Yeah, let's go back to that. I mean, all three work as one, but Cody Webster, the front man right there, as he just took on the horns and everything. Frank, Jesse, Cody, doing what they are paid to do, and no one does it better. As we when they do ride him, they put up really good scores on him. Sucked down into the middle. Great job by the bullfighters to keep Vertigo Spy's attention away from Andrew as he scrambled to safety. The ride, however, ended at five and change. Yeah, and, and this is the kind of trip by a bull where, to the eyes, you watch this back on the Can-Am cage game, it looks like he's doing a lot of stuff. His back end, his front end, all these things happening. But he's really not doing that much where you're sitting on his back. So as a rider, you don't need to move very much. You can just kind of let him pull you around the corners because if you do move just a little bit, it's too much and you're to the inside. Al, Al Vidrez, no for two performance this weekend, but our next rider has a great story swirling around him at the moment. Before you leave the shoot, that there's no time to think. Here we go, Joao Lucas. Well, Joao is going to go ahead and name this one because the Bulls name, whatchamacallit. He's going to call that eight seconds any way you slice it. Flint pretending to be part of the paparazzi. 87 and three quarters. Now, this is a really a nice ride on a just a really good bull right here in whatchamacallit. You can't ask for any better than this in a long round situation. Just up and down, around to the right. Joao does a really good job, makes a fantastic ride, but this get off, <laughs> he just pulls his hand out and lets go, and Bullfighters did a great job of not letting that one get on top of him. Well, Brandon, I'm ready. Want to see you get there. Come on, son. Oh, no. Look out. Great job by our U.S. Border Patrol Protection Team. Flint standing by in case of an assist needed. And Brennan Eldred not going to get it done here in this first opening round. But tomorrow afternoon, Championship Sunday, as you can see, he knew. 55th in the world for the Cooper Tires Wrangler Cowboy.